It is a great honor to address you um, during this meeting and in the beginning of this meeting of the project partners of the project Europe uh, Faces Domestic Violence Exchange and Transfer of Local Competencies. Domestic violence, unfortunately, I would say, is an important issue of, for the European Union because this, this is the problem that should be dealt with. There have been exchanges of experience, support to capacity building, and other activities supported and encouraged by the European Commission. And let me mention one of the examples. Quite a few years ago, um, European Commission supported the information campaign. Uh, the objective of this campaign was twofold. It was to encourage cooperation between the various players involved between the ministries, uh, public services, non-governmental organizations. And this campaign targeted various target audiences, young people, uh, violent and potentially violent people, uh, children who have witnessed acts of uh, violence, and women who have been victims of violence. With all the efforts, uh, Attitudes and tolerance towards the domestic violence have significantly changed. And uh, I would like to mention a few figures that uh, showed uh, that this, this is a practice. Uh, a study carried out last year uh, showed that evolutions are particularly interesting to study uh, in the context of changing legal environment in the past 10 years. The first important message uh, that comes out of the study is that 98% of people are now aware of the domestic violence across the EU in comparison to 94% uh, in the previous study. Violence remains one uh, of the important issues and is very common. One of four respondents know a woman uh, in the family cycle uh, among friends who is a victim of domestic violence. Attitudes towards domestic violence uh, have generally become much, much tougher and uh, in the U European Union as a whole, uh, approximately 84% uh, of population consider that domestic violence is unacceptable and should be punished by law. These are results of the study. Certain European countries indeed uh, have laws, policies and structures uh, from the point of view of women's rights and children's rights. Some, on the other hand, have no specific legislation on domestic violence. But in addition to the legislation uh, that is put in place, it is essential to create and strengthen arrangements to deal with the domestic violence. It is very important to train professionals involved uh, so that violent situations might be uh, very uh, effectively recognized and appropriately dealt with. But I must say that if one wishes to uh, fight the root of this problem, uh, work must be done also at the level of gender relations, aiming at implementation of gender equality in all domains. The President of the European Commission, Barroso, uh, when developing the strategy Europe 2020, has stressed that the gender equality is one of the top issues. Especially in the times of crisis, the gender equality principle is there in our policies, thereby benefiting both women and men. Topics such as gender equality, uh, work life, in, life uh, balancing obligations, customers' rights are carried through numerous European policies, legislation, EU funds and EU programs. And seeking uh, to address specifically the problem of domestic violence, the European Commission has been funding the Grundtvig program since 1997 to respond to growing concerns about different types of violence. The program is aimed at women, young people and children, children's protection against all types of violence. But there are also other programs like Grundtvig program, of which you are part of, which helps to strengthen cooperation between the member states and sharing the best practices. To make all the policies, strategies and programs work, let's work and live with our best conscience. Let's help those who need help, let's support each other, and let's care for better and coherent society in Europe. To achieve the results, cooperation and action at all levels is important, but what is key is that the action also is taken at the local level, at the level of local authorities which are the closest dear to the citizens. 
I wish you all success for this meeting and for the future cooperation. Thank you.